hello and welcome so in today's video we are going to do the lab number nine that is conducting vulnerability scanning using Nessus and these are the instructions if you want to follow along in your Kali I'm gonna scroll down more so you can see pass number 17 what to do here obviously this is not gonna work for you because these are pre uh, set username password so you'll have to set up uh, your Nessus yourself so we're gonna just follow along this let's start the Windows machine this one is super fast I don't know how to do it uh, when I was doing with quick lab uh, Windows machine always took at least two minutes that was the minimum <clears throat> like literally two minutes <clears throat> because they uh, provision them and then do uh, all the settings now we're gonna start uh, following the <clears throat> instruction on the right you cannot see them I'm just uh, choosing this way uh, so we have the full screen bigger we can see what's going on but I've already sh uh, shown you the instructions in the start so let's start Google Chrome that's what they want in the address bar we have to type this address that basically I'm gonna copy paste it's a little bit long so I'm gonna copy and in here enter text nope control right click oh it's not going okay type Oh, right click, right click, nope, that is so unfortunate. Okay, it looks like I have to type it, and if I have to type it, why don't uh, I go ahead, hey, maybe, nope, yeah, if I have to type it, I'm going to type it in the address bar itself, so it's HTTPS. Local host and that is the port eight eighty three four eight eight three four data slash with number slash scan slash folders slash my and press enter your connection is not private okay so don't do it if you're on a corporate network if you see some uh, an error like that there are two reasons if it's an internal website uh, you can choose to go ahead because there are <clears throat> more uh, almost all of the organization for internal website they choose to <clears throat> issue their own certificates and if there is uh, like certificate is expired then you see the message but if you are on a corporate network and you are accessing website online and you see this you <clears throat> I would rather not do that <clears throat> all right so if the primary is our essentials login page username admin and okay admin and basically they had to install this so I think that's what it is uh, and the password is you certify at one two three let's see if we can log in that's logging in <clears throat> oh, that's cool so now we're gonna click there and point to history and then click history okay Click browsing data. Uh, where it is? Hmm. No. <coughs> hmm. At the upper left corner, click the menu. And actually, I don't have a menu. Upper left. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
clear browsing it okay it's already here you can select it all time normally when you go on your local uh, chrome it's always set to work past hour <clears throat> and another pro tip if you are in help desk or some sort and there is a problem they come to you hey this site is not working and if it's like uh, your corporate site 99.99 percent .99 time it's the browsing cache so just clear it only 0.01 percent chance is that there is some problem with their credentials and it has to be dealt with aws i work for amazon so it's always aws in your case it might be something else <clears throat> time range list and yeah. hmm. click the refresh okay so oh what happened here oh so I don't see Nessus running is it here VMware tools oh I think we we were inside here yes right here it's establishing connection so we're gonna refresh it your connection is not private and uh, since we cleared cache browsing EDC so we have to again enter our credentials uh, admin you serve if I add one two three okay so we're gonna click on new scan vulnerabilities it's like basic network scan so we're gonna find vulnerabilities my scans no basic network scan maybe okay this is vulnerabilities right here and you're gonna select basic network scan right there there is an error with your feed okay in the right pane and the setting tab type name is general scan okay target is where is the target description for targets right here 192.168.137.1 so since we are connected to this this is basically a virtual machine in the cloud I'm just accessing it through the web browser so this is not my local uh, device even though it's a local but uh, not my local it's the VMs local network device and up and navigate to the credentials tab so this is basically a credential scan if you remember from the CompTIA security plus that you can run two types of scan one uh, gives you the credentials to actually log into machines the other one is just like a blank one where and in the credentials we're gonna go with with Windows probably click Windows to add credentials so username is capital A and password is U capital C at one two three four five six I 
typed it at the wrong place. So the next one it's saying is left to right and click launch left to right I have to scan something I guess uh, maybe that was the launch button but now I'm inside so I'm gonna go here so basically this uh, settings on the right side oh sorry yeah the steps on the right side uh, they are not exactly the same on the screen so you have to find uh, and like you have to just go with it if it's saying click launch uh, by uh, scrolling something horizontally from left to right and there is nothing but you do see a launch button and that's what I did I clicked it so now you can see it's running and it's I believe it's uh, scanning the network I am so tempted to install it configure it and run it on my local network actually while it's running why don't we go hyper v manager hyper v manager <laughs> it's still running So let's launch Kali. Kali. Continue. Start. This one is taking time. I'm gonna pause the video. Uh, it's still running, but you can see uh, the bar is changing here, the, gra uh, the pie chart. And booting Kali. So the other day I had uh, an issue with Kali, like it wasn't responding and I forced, stopped it. I hope I haven't corrupted it. If I have, that's a bummer because it has, it should be a stable uh, OS because that is the one that we're gonna use to basically uh, scan, not like do the, the security stuff. So it has to be super powerful otherwise it's vulnerable itself fail to start daily man db regeneration oh boy so we're gonna go and now it wants me to check the general tab and you can see uh, I don't have a general tab here so it says wait 15 to 20 minutes let's pause the video here I'm gonna wait for both of them to come back with something so uh, you can see uh, it's just like a quick thing 
at time it's a virtual machine so I'm gonna tell it hey I need 30 more minutes I'm gonna save it so now at this virtual machine uh, won't be shut down due to inactivity let's pause it again I started at 113 it's 190 now only six minutes have passed uh, but uh, since the instruction says wait 15 to 20 minutes we're gonna wait that time and see if something changes and I do see that yellow is being like medium is at 8% now so let's wait so good thing is that within 10 minutes our scan is done now you can see completed uh, oh actually 7 minutes mein. so critical we have find is 6% High jo hai wo 26%, medium 15 low and info. So, this may agar ye the history hai, to ye aapka remediation process hai ke kis cheez ko aapka kya usne find kiya jo vulnerabilities hai, aur aapne usko kya karna hai. To aap ye dekh sakte hai ki ji usme Oracle hai, uh, Java. उसका ये वर्जन इंस्टॉल रहा है मल्टीपल वर्नेबिलिटीज जो है वो अक्टूबर में उनको मिली हैं तो अप्रोप्रिएट पैच मैनेजमेंट है कि आपने उसको पैच करना है ऑब्वियसली ये आप रिपोर्ट बना के दे देते हैं जो पैच पैच मैनेजमेंट टीम होती है वो डिफरेंट होती है वो बेसिकली देखती है कि जो पैच है उससे कोई नई वल्नरेबिलिटी या कोई उनका लेगेसी प्रोग्राम तो नहीं स्टॉप वर्किंग हो जाएगा फिर ये एक डिबेट कह लें या एक चॉइस होती है उनके पास कि हमने इस वल्नरेबिलिटी और इसके नतीजे में होने वाली चीज को एक्सेप्ट करना है या इसको पैच मैनेजमेंट करनी है या इंटरनली हमने कोड लिखना है जो पैच मैनेजमेंट के बाद बाकी चीजों को भी कर ले और फिर उसमें रोल बैक भी होता है अगर उनको नहीं क्लियर होता कि हमार सो आवर स्कैन इज डन वी कैन सी configuration oh not configuration back to scan report right there so we have critical high medium low info if we click on vulnerabilities it will find uh, so be a uh, very important thing you can see it only scanned one host not the whole network so we didn't give it a, a, a range of ip addresses we are we had only given it a, an ip address it found 56 vulnerabilities the list is here remediation uh, remediation like what needs to be done to take care of those vulnerabilities these are these here uh, the important uh, thing for the management IT management and like it, it will be another team it will it won't be you uh, you just run the scan is to do they have to implement this patch uh, they have to see if the patch management installing that patch will affect uh, any other program especially any legacy one if they are going to accept the risk and continue to use this version that is known to work with all of their programs and keep an eye on their network and all that or they have to upgrade their legacy uh, software like it it's basically these decisions don't fall with you it's always another team so how did the plugin and history like history of your uh, scans let's wrap this video here i hope this video has helped you if it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.